Hi all, this is Vaishnavi from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session on how to install Android Studio on your system. Any developer out there would dream to develop or build an Android application of his own. If you are a noob or an experienced developer, you might want to start off right from the basics. But the very first step towards this is choosing a proper IDE to work on. So this video will help you understand how to install an IDE that is Android Studio on your system. But before we get started with the installation process, let me just quickly walk you guys through the agenda. So the first step would be installing Java on your system, followed by which we'll see how to install Android Studio and then I'll wrap up this session by making you guys understand how to write a simple program in Android. So I hope the agenda was clear to you guys. And I also suggest you to subscribe to our Edureka YouTube channel to never miss out an update on the trending technologies. And also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out a notification on this channel. So, let's get started. So, the very first thing you have to do if you're working on any technology is master any programming language. And when I talk about programming language, Java is one of the most oldest and the most easiest programming language, I must say. So, it is one of the easiest languages, and JDK libraries are also required to run any sort of program. So, installing Java is a very first step that you need to take. So, I'm going to be downloading a Java JDK files. I'm going to search for Java download. Yep. So we need Java from the Oracle website. So I'm going to go for uh, the second link over here. That is Java SE downloads. Click on the link. You can see that there's so many versions of JDK is present here. So I'm going to be clicking on the latest one. Click on download. You have to accept the license over here. You can see that you can download it for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. As I'm working on Windows, I'll be downloading this file. As I already have the JDK files, I would just leave it here. So the next thing I'll be teaching you guys is how to set up Java environment variables. I'm going to go to control panel. Go to system and security. And click on system. And you can find advanced system settings over here. So these are the system properties that we need to edit. So go to environment variables and set the path. So under the system variable, you'll find a variable called path. So just click on edit and add the bin folder location. This bin folder location is where your Java is installed. And you can find that by going through your program files. And then you can open the Java folder and you can find the bin library over there. So you just have to copy the path of the bin library and paste it over here. Just add a new one. Yeah, new one and you can edit it. Okay. And Java does not necessarily need any environment variables to be set. However, setting environment variables does make certain things easier. So this environment variables point to the folder location where your preferred version of Java is installed. These environment variables are mainly required by external programs and tools in order to figure out where exactly Java is installed in your machine. Now the next thing you have to do is check if the variables have been set correctly or not. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to the command prompt. And I'm going to type Java hyphen version. You can see that the Java version that I'm currently using is 1.8. So this is how you confirm that Java is installed on your system. So now once you've understood how to install Java on your system, Let's move ahead and understand how to install Android Studio. So in order to do that, I'll be searching for Android Studio download. Yep. Click on this. So you can see that you can download Android Studio just by clicking on this button and the download options for any of the OS that you prefer. All right. Now I'm just going to click on download. Check this box and click on download. Okay, it will be installed in a while. I'm going to drag this onto the desktop. And I'm going to run this as an administrator. 
Okay, so click on next. Virtual device is not selected. Okay, click on next and install. Yeah, so this is the welcome page of Android Studio. I'm going to just click on start new project. I'm going to be choosing an empty project here. You can see that there is a basic project. There is also bottom navigation activity. The same way we have fragment and view model, full screen activity, master detail flow, and so many other types of application or activity that you can perform. But as we are installing it for the first time, I'm going to be dealing with an empty activity. So click on next. And I'm going to name my project as new Android project okay so we're new to this yep and you can select any of the programming language guys you can either select kotlin or you can select java kotlin is a very new programming language which is officially supported by google and is also one of the preferred language for android development so kotlin is also feasible guys and also you can select java if you're comfortable i'm going to be using java in this session so i'm going to be selecting java and click on finish so this is exactly how you can install Android Studio. You can see that the project is syncing. So we'll wait for a few seconds so that it finishes. Once this is done, I'll talk about the project structure and how exactly you can write a simple program in Android. OK, so this is done. Now I'm going to go to the application and go to Java. And under the first folder, I'm going to find the main activity. So this is where you can write your code. After this, you can add any number of lines of code that you want for your application. In the same manner, we have activity main.xml. So this is a place where you can design your application or you can code for the corresponding design. So you can see that I have a layout over here. So this is a layout over here. And you can actually drag and drop the features or the views onto your layouts. Now, talking about the project structure, the app folder holds manifest and the Java folder. These both are required for application development. Now, once you click on this Java folder and you can find this main activity class, here's where you'll write your code as I mentioned, and mainly it is considered as the main class. Now, next up, you have the resource field. So this field is where you can edit the layout. So I mentioned that this is a layout. You can edit these layouts by clicking on the layout here and the activity main.xml. Okay. Here you can also draw outlines for your applications. You can drag and drop the features. You can write any number of codes for the layout design. Next, we have the Gradle script, which is also added onto your project. So if you want to create a new project, just go to file, go to new and new project. All you have to do is select the project activity that you want to work on and you have to give a name to your project. That's it. OK. Next, go to your main activity class to add the corresponding code pertaining to your application. You can also create any number of classes that you want. You can just right click on this folder and go to new. Java class or Kotlin class. If I go to Java class, I have to name this class something and just click on OK. Yeah, you can see that the class is created over here. So this is exactly how uh, you can create a class in Android. Now, next up, we have the virtual device. If you're working on mobile development that to Android, it is required for you to have a virtual machine. You cannot have a device right there next to you connected to your system every time. And uh, if you want to receive any calls, it will be a problem for the system as well. So we prefer using virtual devices. So in order to do that, you can find this over here. You can see no devices. So open AVD manager and you can create a virtual device of your choice. So click on next. Now go to Q download. Accept and next okay it is downloading so i think you guys are clear with this now but the thing is if in case you don't have the virtualization set in your system all you can do is enable the bios on your system 
this has to be done because you cannot add a virtual device if this is not enabled you can do this by uh, restarting your system and click on the escape button and then go to the system configuration and select virtualization and enable the bios so i already have the bios enabled in my system so that's the reason it's downloading on itself Okay, it is done. So click on finish. Click on next. Yep, click on finish. Okay, so it is going to create the virtual device for us. And here it is. Let us launch this editor. Here it is. Okay, so this is Google Pixel 2. And you're ready to go, guys. So you can select a device of your choice and you can view the design on the activity main.xml. And also you can code correspondingly and also edit the layouts. So this is a virtual device and you'll be performing actions on this device. So this is exactly how you can install Android Studio onto your system. You can see that pixel is starting here. I selected pixel here guys. You can select anything of your choice. With this we come to the end of this video on how to install Android Studio on your system. If you guys have any doubts regarding any of the topics that has been discussed in this session, please feel free to reach out to us by commenting in the comment section below and we'll get back to you at the earliest. And also if you want to learn more about Android, please comment them in the comment section so that we'll know what you guys want us to teach. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!